What is going on with ya, big dog? And it is an amazing day for Master Duel. I hope that your day is going phenomenal. And if it isn't, don't let what happened at the beginning of your day ruin the rest of your day. Speaking of such, we got some amazing Master Duel news that I'm a little bit late on, just a tiny bit. But not only will I be able to give you the insight, the top meta decks, I'll also be able to give you some really important information that you may need to know about the Forbidden List, certain changes that will happen if you stick to the end of this video. Let's go ahead and jump on in because I know your time is precious and I ain't trying to waste it. And then we'll go into, excuse me, whoa, into the notifications here and we'll start talking about the new packs that we have and what meta implications this can have. A new selection pack is here. Newly carded, newly added, <laughs> newly, cards newly added in the selection, goal, will also be available in master pack. So basically what this means is that you don't have to craft a card to get the exact selection pack. If you open the master packs, there's a potential that you get one of these cards from this packs, which unlocks the pack in itself. So just to let you guys know. Brand new archetype storm into play. Get Despia that fuse with light and dark monsters. The magic key that work with ritual infusion summons like magic. That was a bad pun. And the Gunkin that draw out XE monsters with different material combinations. For those that don't know what Gunkin is, this is a Sioux ship, what people refer to in the TCG. Basically a deck based off of food, uh, sushi, obviously, and ships. It's a, it's a cool gimmicky deck. Um, it doesn't work in the TCG, but it might work in Master Duel. Cards that work well with these new monsters included, hopefully, because Konami is fairly known for not giving us everything that we need. There are decks that have, you know, been imported in particular packs. Take, for example, Machina doesn't have Machina Unclass Spare, but it came out as bla in Blazing in Blazing Vortex, and we have Blazing Vortex cards. We also have Dawn of Majesty cards, but we don't have Despia cards. We're just now getting them, which is really, really weird. So. Again, we have to uh, be conservative, and then let's talk from it from there. Uh, the recommended card to be able to get this pack is Dramaturge of Despia, and basically the reasoning behind it is that this card has the ability to negate an effect monster's effect when a fusion, synchro, exceed, or link monster is special summon. And keep in mind, I want to say when these cards are special summon, you don't have to actually fusion, synchro, exceed, or link. Those monsters can be special summoned from the graveyard, and it'll trigger the effect of Dramaturge of Despia. So that is very important to look out for. Not only can you choose which monster will trigger the activation and seal away its effect, you can also activate its effect to seal other monsters' effects and use the tactics that take advantage of fusion monster special summons. This was like incredibly confusing, so let's go ahead and read it again. So you get to choose when it will trigger. Obviously, we know that with Dramaturgia. You don't have to use this effect. And then, since you are a fusion-based deck, more often than not, you'll be fusion summoning to trigger its effect. Now, that would make me think that we'd get branded opening at least in here to be able to fusion summon or no branded openings the one that searches or special summon i'm sorry the quick play branded spell card i think it's just called branded fusion or something like that regardless whatever the particular branded card that i'm thinking about right now it's actually driving me nuts i doubt that we'll get it because that actually came out in burst of destiny and i'm not sure if they're going to give us all of the despia cards at once that would be cool though it also combines its effect to be able to special summon itself, uses a fusion material, so it can perfectly complement a deck that makes full use of fusion summon. Of course, we already know what Dramaturge of Despia does for us TCG players, but basically this 3000 attack monster didn't necessarily do well in the TCG, which is ironic because Despia is really starting to pick up. It's actually a powerful deck. And in a format where super polymerization can be amazing, keep in mind, just like in, the, in Master Duel in the TCG, light and dark monsters are really powerful. So take, for example, in Master Duel, your opponent has a true king of all calamities or a herald of ultimateness to their side of the field. You can summon a Despia monster and then super polymerization both your monster and your opponent's monster, and they can't respond with calamities or your herald of ultimateness. That can be huge. And monsters that you can summon is Despia Aquarius. That's also confirmed. And it must be fusion summoned with a light or dark monster. And then its effect can reduce all face-up monsters attack to zero that aren't level eight or above fusion monsters. This actually isn't the best of effects. It's not a bad effect. It's, it's definitely not a bad effect, but its best effect is actually when it leaves the field by an opponent's card, you can special summon or add a monster from your deck to your hand. Now I am extremely creeped out on this because it says special summon or add. It literally does not say that we can get a Despia monster. So maybe they just give us Dramaturge and give us 
the level one, which is tragedy and doesn't give us Oliver, especially when you look at it and Oliver is not an ultra rare, but fingers crossed, hopefully Oliver's a super rare. That would be a okay. And it also could still be an ultra rare because it does say, etc. But um, that would be pretty good if we got all of the Despia monsters because it, it would definitely help. And then Despia and Quiritus being able to summon Alibur so we can gain its effect or add it to the hand or being able to summon Fallen Albas, which we already have, is going to be amazing. Now, there is another pack that we're getting, which is Beyond Speed. The Synchro Summon Specialist, Speed Roy, Majestic, and Floor have new cards. Combine them with the existing cards, add it to this pack to complement them to make a whole new Synchro deck. This is actually correct. Speed Roar gets like a crap ton better if they get the cards from Legendary Duelist Synchro Storm. Majestic and Floor were not good in, in the uh, TCG, and I don't expect that to change. So the recommended card to get the special pack is Shooting Majestic Star Dragon. I'm telling you, do not craft this card, guys. It's a level 11 Synchro Dragon monster with 4,000 attack. The beauty of negating an opponent's monster effect or activation of your opponent's card effect is that in one single of your turns, you can handle two of your opponent's monsters. Then if you have a Stardust Dragon or Synchro monster with that name in the graveyard, you can increase the number of attacks even further. Depending on your deck construction, you can make this battle ready monster even more aggressive. Do not buy, the, do not. Do not craft this card, guys. This is literally the worst advice that Konami has ever given you for the exception of downloading Master Duel. I'm just playing, but seriously, this card's, the deck's not good. If you are if you wanna play it for fun, cool. But for a competitive perspective, do not fall for this trap, guys. Seriously, do not fall for this trap. Floor and Majestic will not be good decks. Speedroid has the potential to be a good deck because it can make like boards like Double Crystal Wing and it can make the Cosmic Blazar Dragon. I think it can make two of them. It can make some pretty decent boards in Master Duel, which you guys already know, making good boards makes you a good deck. But this Majestic Star deck, it's, I'm not saying that it's gonna be terrible. I'm saying that you're gonna have to invest a lot into it where you could just play a better deck. Ultra Rare Crystal Wing Synchro Dragon. Also, do not, do not, do not craft this card. Um, when your opponent's monster effect activates, its original attack is added to this monster's and this monster is not affected by monsters your opponent activates. This effect lasts until the end of the turn, so if you activate it against a monster with a very high attack, you can phase down your opponent's monster with an attack even higher. Since this also a negate the effects of other spell and trap cards, it's a good card to bring into a fight against a deck that centers around the monster effects as a strategy. Don't craft this card, not worth it, guys. I'm just gonna tell you right now, not worth it at all. What you should craft is Baron de Floor because that completely changes the Yu-Gi-Oh card game. Immediately, just looking at what we know for this particular set, off the top of the dome, Despias have the potential to be one of the best decks in Master Duel. Super Polymerization, being able to fuse off your Despia monster and some of the most powerful monsters in Master Duel can completely win you games hands down. Speedroid has opportunities to be great because yes, it is affected by Maxi, but it also has Maxi. Keep in mind, it also has Crossout Designator. It also has Call by the Grave to two. Combo decks are very much favored inside of Master Duel, and Speedroid is a combo deck. Feel good um, going ahead and purchasing in Speedroid. A hidden strategy that will be really, really good when this set comes out, and I told you I'll be able to give you some spice, is Zombie. Zombie will can be completely cracked. Because this deck can make better on the floor and draw three cards along the way, Vampire Sucker twice and a Formula Synchron, this deck becomes absolutely bonkers with the um, Baron de Floor coming out inside of this set. Also, Baron de Floor can cycle back zombie monsters from your graveyard to your side of the field, which adds so much synergy with this deck. One would wonder is that since we're getting Sword Soul Iris and Anti Human, which were both Donna Majesty Ultra Rare cards, I have a strong feeling we might get Ready Fusion, which is amazing for strategies trying to make Baron de Floor that completely changes the meta on its head. Also, the following cards will not be available after April 3, which is Revival of Legends and Stalwart Force. You guys might want to get those cards out of there as there's some pretty crack cards inside of there. I believe Boral Sword Dragon, Traver Gate, um, the Traver Gate Link 4, Shireg is in there. There's some pretty good cards in there, so definitely pick those up. So when does the ban list come out, guys? When is the ban list? I think the ban list, because we already know the... Um, Boom, Dual Pass ends in five days. We know that we're getting a new set on April 5th. 
I think the ban list happens either right before. I think Konami's done enough testing to know what they want to hit. Or slightly afterward. I think we get a ban list really soon, which is going to wrap up some content from a lot of content creators. But that is pretty much all that I have for today. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. All of the information you need about this Master Pack coming up. Uh, really excited to see how Despia is going to turn ahead, not only in the TCG, but in Master Duel. And if you guys want to see more amazing content, go ahead and check out these videos, as of course, I'll catch you on the next one.